for what you love. That's the theme for tonight. So we did a survey a while back, and um, these are some of the results that came in of what our users and what you like about your library. There's some statistics up there that I think are pretty awesome. For example, 500,000 visits in a year in this building. This building gets a ton of use. A lot of people coming in and out of the door. Um, over 8,000 meeting rooms are uh, reserved every year in this, in this building. Um, 72% of the Palatine residents have library cards. And uh, you can see some of the others up there, they're really good. 52,000 program attendees. So we get lots of traffic in this building. Um, the building gets lots of wear and tear. And uh, that's part of the reason why we're, why we're here. It became evident at, to the board over time that this building is going to need some major capital uh, fund repairs. So we started looking at how we're going to get that done. And um, one thing I want to add too is we're one of the lower, lower uh, funded libraries in the area too. So we, we've always kept a very tight budget, but the age and the use of this building have led to us to the conclusion, the, the conclusion that we would have to seek additional funding. So we added, or we uh, in December we voted to uh, place a limited rate increase on the ballot coming up on April 2nd of this year. The ballot measure will increase our limited rate. And if this is confusing to you, because it's, it's confusing stuff, we're going to have some finance people up here to talk about it. We increase our, our uh, limiting rate from 0.276 to 0.351. So that's a, an increase of 0 0.075. What this means, so I'm trying to convert it to uh, someone who owns a median house, a valued house in uh, Palatine, is about a $52 per year increase. A median home in Palatine is roughly um, $250,000 house. There it is, $266,000. So you can see a chart here which shows how this proposed increase would, um, would impact a homeowner in Palatine. So you can see some of the numbers. If you had a $100,000 house all the way up to $350,000. So a $350,000 uh, market value house is $70. So that was what we voted on in December, and it's on the ballot uh, coming up in April 2nd, and that's what we're here to talk to you about today. This is the specific ballot language. Shall it say this? This is what's going to be on the ballot. Shall the limiting rate under the property tax extension limitation law for the Palatine Public Library District, Cook County, Illinois, be increased by an additional amount equal to 0 0.075 above the limiting rate for the general library purposes for the levy year 2017 and be equal to 0.351% of the equalized assessed value of taxable property therein for the levy year 2019. So not a lot there, but that's how you have to write these. That's what it says. There's some sub bullet points that you'll see. They're kind of explanatory. They'll also be on the ballot too. Um, it tells you how much, approximately how much the increase will be in funding for the library if this passed. So it'll go from 6.4 million to 8.2 million. Um, there's a little, the second bullet point deals with that, how much will it impact a, um, a home, home of uh, a certain value. And then the last bullet point just says if it's passed, it'll become effective. Um, it'll become effective when they, when they do the next property tax assessment. So that's sort of an overview of what we're here for today. Um, you're gonna have an opportunity to talk to the director of the library. Um, I wanna introduce uh, the rest of the panel. So the director, Jeannie Dilger, is here. She will speak last. Um, next up will be uh, Bob Lewis from PMA uh, Securities. He'll talk about the, the financial plan that we did before, uh, before we came to this conclusion. And you have, uh, Joe Uberty from Edinburgh Anderson, who's done some of the capital improvement plans that we um, that we have looked at going forward. So I want to say that the board reviewed the, reviewed with financial advisors a management plan to figure out how we could fund this library, your library, in the best possible way. We explored many different options, and this is the best we could come up with. So this is this is why we're here today to answer your questions and to um, give you as much information as we can. Okay, so I'm Jeannie Dilcher, I'm the Executive Director, and I get to wrap it up here by talking about uh, how the money will be used. 
So um, in the ballot language that you saw earlier, there were some numbers, 6.4 million, 8.2 million or whatever. Uh, basically, bottom line is that our planners estimate that this will generate, if the referendum passes, it will generate 1.7 million per year. Um, so in the first six years, that comes out to 10.2 million. Uh, the reason we use six years is when Joe and his team did that capital study, we saw that our major maintenance uh, with the roof and the HVAC and all of that is in the next six years. That's the 5.8 million. So over half of it would go to those projects. But as Joe pointed out, if we're having to do some things, if we're having to update the lighting, if we're having to replace the worn carpeting, we could also do some interior renovation at the same time and save some money in the long run. And so the interior renovation, we put in about two million for in the next six years. That leaves 2.4 million for service improvements. So if the referendum passes, we will be able to do um, some service improvements based again on all of the feedback that we've heard from the community. The board did a community survey in 2016. In 2017 and 18, we worked on a strategic plan. We did some focus groups. And these are the kinds of things that we heard from the, the community. So um, we heard that people really want us to continue to keep the technology upgraded. When they come in, they want the Wi-Fi to work. They want to be able to uh, do whatever they need to do for school projects. They want to be able to uh, take classes to improve their skills, to search for jobs, those kinds of things. Uh, we hear over and over again that we need more collaborative spaces, meeting rooms, and study rooms in this community, um, that there's not enough places for groups to meet, not enough spaces for teams to get together and work on a project. So we hear that a lot. Uh, we heard that people wanted us to be open more hours and that they want uh, more new books, movies, music, uh, shorter wait times. Downloadable content there is just a library word for ebooks and streaming movies and music, those kinds of things that are becoming more and more popular. Um, and one of the things that we really heard um, is that the outreach that we're starting to do in terms of working with schools and daycares and the Chamber of Commerce is really valuable to people and they want to see more of that. If the referendum does not pass, we still will need to address that 5.8 million in capital repairs in the next six years. If we don't, the roof will start to leak, the windows, as Joe said, will have some issues. Uh, so we're going to have to come up with those funds and we're gonna to have to take those out of the operating budget. So the things that the board has discussed are things like reducing the hours and days of service at our three locations, possibly fewer new materials available, resulting in longer wait times, uh, limiting those technology upgrades and maybe being a little bit behind the curve there, and looking at the staffing that we're using to provide partnership and outreach programs and, and maybe uh, not being able to do as much of that. So that gives you the yes and the no. Um, I want to let you know that early voting starts March 18th, and again, election day is April 2nd. Uh, we are a voter registration site, and there's more information on cookcountyclerk.com. Um, this is the third of six community forums. Uh, you're welcome to come to any and all of them um, or share them with your neighbors. The ones that are held here at the main library, you do get to hear from Joe and Bob. The ones that are off-site, you only get Bruce and I, and I get to pretend I know something about finance and architecture. <laughs> so uh, take your pick. <laughs> um, and then the other place where you can get some information is on our website. And I'm actually going to escape and come over here quickly to show you that. Um, there's a on our website from the main page. I've already loaded it, so you can. From the main page, you can click on library referendum, or you can go directly to palatinelibrary.org slash more. Um, and in addition to some information here, as you scroll down and some of the things that you've already seen today, we have a whole bunch more in-depth links. So we have an initial financial management plan that we did in 2017. We have an updated plan from 2018 from PMA. 
Capital Reserve study that Edward Anderson did. If you want to really delve into those numbers and every single light bulb and, and carbon square, it's in there. Um, the it's a, a list of frequently asked questions that we've been getting, which we continue to update. So there's plenty of information in there. There's also a couple of, of nice calculators. There's one where you can put in the value of your home and figure out exactly what the estimated impact will be because assessments change that over the years. Um, and there's one where you can calculate the value of the service you're getting from the library. So um, I recommend you take a look at those.